Here's a homework problem that, or an example of a homework problem that will give you how to change moles to grams. We always start out the exactly the same way. We have our given over one. So we put the 42.6 moles of silicon over one. Now, our next fraction, where are we going to get that ratio? Well, that ratio is going to come by going to the periodic chart. And the periodic chart is going to show us that for silicon, uh, SI is right over here. Silicon is 28.086. Let's just do this to three sig figs, so that would be 28.1. 28.1 grams is equal to one mole. So let's write that first. 28.1 grams is equal to one mole. Now, remember our method. We start, before we do anything else, we're going to take this guy, the moles, and we're going to write it down here, moles of silicon. Now, for silicon, this is for SI. That is the ratio that we need. So we're going to take the number that goes with moles of silicon, and let's write silicon here again. This guy right here is going to go on the bottom. So that's where our 1 comes from. And then we put the 28.1 grams is going to give us our answer. So when you run that number on the calculator, that's what you're going to get. Now, that has to be changed to scientific notation. So if we're going to change to scientific notation, we're going to have to move that decimal. And the decimal is actually here, and it has to go one, two, three places over, and that will give us, and I'm going to round now, 1.20, and that has to have a power of 10 to send the decimal back. So since we only have three decimals and we don't have a zero, we don't have a zero in this position, we still need to give it the proper size. So we haven't changed the magnitude of the number. So what we do is we just multiply this times 10 to the third, and 10 to the third takes our decimal, which we moved, see, to here, and moves it back one, two, three places to where it was. And that three places would require another zero here, but since we only have three sig figs, that's all we're going to write. And this, again, is grams per mole, and that's our answer. So, in this problem, we have gone from a given of moles to a find of grams. In our next problem, which is down at the bottom of the page, we're going to go the opposite way. Okay, so now we're going to find moles given the grams. And if we go back here and look at the given over one, the given over one here is moles. And that's the given. Back here, on this page, the given is grams. So that's what's going to be over 1. So let's go ahead and get things started. We have given of 300.0 grams of sulfur over 1. Next, we want to take this stuff right here, the grams of sulfur, and put that on the bottom, grams of sulfur. And that's going to cancel out, which is what we want. Well, what's the number, the ratio, that's going to get us the conversion into moles? Again, we go to the periodic chart, and we see that sulfur is 32.065 grams per mole. And so what we're going to do is take that number, we're going to round it to four sig figs, because that's all we have in our given. And let's take a look there. See, 300.0 grams. So we're going to take this 32.065 and round it 
to 32.07. So 32.07, and that's the, whoops, 32.07. There we go. And let's get rid of this. That was an error. That's the number that goes with grams because 32.07 grams of sulfur is equal to one mole of sulfur. That is our ratio that makes this conversion possible. So we took the number here on the left, and there we go, the number here on the left, and we made it equal to this. So this number goes here. Now this guy has to go on top. And so let's go ahead and put him up there. That's one mole of sulfur. And now we get out our calculator. So when we run our calculator, we find that the number that we get by dividing the 300 here by the 32.07 comes out to 9.3 five four five three six nine five that's what it says on my calculator so I took the nine point three five four and looked at the number to the right of it and that was a five so I rounded the four up to this five so that's where that number comes from and now we have that in scientific notation already I mean there's nothing to do to get it into scientific notation so we can just r write that number as it is, and we don't have to worry about powers of 10. And that's it, folks. I hope this helps you do the rest of your problems.